What's up guys, this is Tampa Tech, and I'm gonna show you how to stream your games locally for free, unlimited, on your PC to your Legends Ultimate Arcade. As of right now, you can stream for five hours for free on your Legends Ultimate Arcade from your Steam account, Blizzard, or Epic account, but I'm gonna show you how to do it for free, unlimited time, off of your PC locally in your house. And you just have to download an app and connect it to your arcade. And these are the steps. Now, if you want the best streaming experience possible, use a hardwired connection, Cat5 cable, going to your router. So if your PC is connected using a hardwired connection to your router and your Legends Ultimate Arcade is connected using a hardwired connection to your router, then you're gonna get a great streaming experience with low latency. Now, if you're using Wi-Fi, I highly suggest upgrading to Google Wi-Fi, which gives you a more reliable, faster internet speeds for better streaming experience. Let's go ahead and enter Steam. I'm gonna show you on Steam because that's the most popular platform. Click on the upper left-hand corner, click on Settings, click on Remote Play, and enable Remote Play, and select Fast, to give you the best streaming experience. And hit OK to save. Also in interface, you wanna make sure run Steam when my PC starts or computer starts. And so that's basically one last step you gotta do. Your PC always has to be turned on and Steam has to be running for you to stream off your PC, of course. Hit OK to save. Now you want to go to at games.net forward slash arcade net forward slash BYOG. Now if you sign up for arcade net, it's free and you can stream from their library of retro games unlimited and they give you five free hours of streaming to Steam and other platforms and every month they'll give you five more free hours of streaming. Once that expires, then you have to pay for that service, which is a dollar per hour or you can buy these packages right here. And here's the platforms they support, Steam, Origin, Blizzard, just to name a few. And here's the games that they support for streaming. Now keep in mind, if you're streaming Mortal Kombat X, that uses eight buttons and the arcade uses six buttons. So some of the buttons are unusable. Unless you plug in an Xbox controller to the arcade, then you can play that game, no problem. All right, so now if you wanna stream locally for free, without using your five free hours of streaming or paying for that streaming service, hit download for Windows. And we're gonna to download to desktop. So it's easy to find. Here it is, right here. I'm gonna right click that and extract to Arcade Net link app. Now make sure you have a WinZip program to unzip it. You go to downloads.com to get that. All right, assuming that you already did it, double click on that folder, double click on that folder, and double click to start installing. Hit next, install, and I already have it installed, so I'm gonna hit okay to install that over. Now before you do that, I highly suggest doing is going to your settings, and you gotta disable your antivirus. and go back and disable your firewall. Now, don't freak out when you disable your antivirus and firewall. There's a backup operating system firewall. And here's my firewall settings in my operating system right here. So when I disable my paid service, firewall service, my Windows Defender firewall automatically turns on, see? So you're not unprotected. Don't so if that doesn't install, you try again by disabling antivirus and firewall on your paid services. And Windows operating system, Windows Defender firewall is still on. All right, and I'm not gonna install the Bing bar. I don't need that. Hit finish. Yes, accept, install, okay. It's finishing. 
All right, and restart computer. And that's disabled. And that is disabled. Double click on that and see if it starts. All right, and it does. Now keep in mind, your operating system, Windows Defender, is running in the background, so you have a level of protection there. It may not be the best protection, but it is a level of protection. So you want to sign up for Arcade Net link, put a username and password, put your computer name. And now it's connecting the server. And we're connected. And go to BYOG, and you should see this icon right here. Now, if you don't, you want to refresh it by going over to settings and then back over to BYOG. This should pop up after you refresh the screen. And hit A to select. And there it is. There's my computer right there. And the latency is negative 1 or 11. Anything under 45 is great. You're going to use your trackball as a mouse. If this doesn't work, just hit menu and that bar should pull up and go over using your joystick and hit A to left click and C is right click. And then hit A again to select the mouse and hit menu to get rid of that bar. Now the mouse should work using the trackball. And we're going to click on Steam, which is in the bottom tray right here. And I'm going to select a game. And I select Dragon's Lair. And hit play. And it's working. Oh, there it is. It's working. Now, if the screen format is off, Make sure you select 1920 by 1080p in the game menu settings. And let's go ahead and select. Hit menu again, hit select. Oh, you can use the mouse actually. Game and hit menu again. And now the controls should work. So yeah, the controls don't work. Make sure you hit menu and select control mode game. And I'm going to continue my game. And it's working. Let's try it out. It's working. Now I figured a way how to have my antivirus and firewall turned on and still use the app, Arcade Net app. And I'm going to show you how to do that. That was a little tricky. See, my firewall is turned on and my antivirus is turned on as well. And so you want to go into exceptions and add these to your exceptions right here. So click on add, browse, and there's my desktop. You click on that to open that. And then under your C drive, you go to at games and hit OK. Add. I already added it, so it won't let me add it again. But here's another one I added. So do that again. Add, and then under your C drive, program files, arcade net link, and then do it again. It's under your C drive, and then I have the installer actually as an exception, even though I already installed the app. That one I don't need anymore, but I just left it there but at arcade link installer.exe that's still there I could probably remove that because I already have the app installed and then the C drive once again you want to go to desktop and then arcade net link dot ink I N K those are my exceptions and that seems to be working really well for me and under firewall here's my exceptions I got this working through the firewall and to do that you just click on add rule and so you'll have this in your exceptions see program under your C drive program files arcade net link and arcade net link e.exe
and I added oh, under under my C drive at games arcade net link setup.exe and that was to set up that app but it's already installed I could probably remove that one that was the last one that was a little tricky for me and to add that to your exception or to your rules you just go to C drive at games control node and then control node dot e x e select that and add that in and once you do that you should be good to go connected right now yeah we're connected all right I'm gonna try it again and this is with my antivirus and firewall turned on with my exceptions I added click on my PC and now we're streaming for free we're not using the arcade net service so we can have unlimited free streaming to our PC See my firewall is turned on and my antivirus is turned on and we're able to stream now and let's go ahead and select a different game King of Fighters is a great game I highly recommend it and let's hit menu and go to game mode the controls should be working If this video was informative, give me a big thumbs up. If you know anyone that this video may interest, go ahead and hit the share button below, share this video to them. Subscribe, hit that bell notification to stay updated on the latest tech videos. Later, guys.